Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the superposition principle and forces between multiple charges. In the last class, I have discussed Coulomb's law and limitations of Coulomb's law, vector forms of Coulomb's law. Here, superposition principle is used to find the force between multiple charges. From using this superposition principle, we have to find the force between multiple charges. Superposition principle. Superpose means it is a collide with each other. Superposition principle. Here in this case, it states that when a number of charges are interacting, here the n number of charges are interacting. When a number of charges are interacting, then the total force on a given charge is equal to vector sum of the forces acting on it due to the remaining charges. Here, suppose if I consider these are the n number of charges. These are the n number of charges. It states that when a number of charges are interacting, then the total force on a given charge is equal to vector sum of the forces acting on it due to the remaining charges. In this case, the individual forces are not affected due to the presence of other charges. See the diagram. It is a one system. This is one system. It contains n number of point charges Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 so on up to given terms according to that principle net force on the charge q1 according to the principle suppose if i consider this is the q1 the net force on this charge q1 due to a system of n charges sees one system it contains n number of charges like q1 q2 q3 so on up to q1 According to that principle, the principle says when a number of charges are interacting, then the total force on a given charge here, the given charge is Q1, is equal to vector sum of the forces acting on it. According to that principle, net force on a charge Q1 due to a system of N charges, here the net force acting on the charge Q1 is, that is F1 is equal to net force on that charge q1 is equal to total force on a given charge is equal to vector sum of the forces acting on it vector sum of the forces here f1 f2 f3 f4 or these are the forces the vector sum of all these forces that is vector f12 plus vector f13 plus vector f14 so on up to vector f1n here vector f1 means the resultant force on q1 due to a system of n point charges q2 q3 q4 so on up to q1 or f12 means force on q1 due to q2 f13 means force on q1 due to q3 f14 means force on q1 due to q4 and f15 means force on q1 due to q5 like this we have to find the resultant force from using this superposition principle this principle is used to find the force between multiple charges okay and next part of your topic is the resultant force on a charge due to multiple charges resultant force on a charge due to multiple charges from using the superposition principle here now I have to find the resultant force in the last class I have discussed the Coulomb's law in electrostatics the mathematical expression of Coulomb's law in electrostatic is vector f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by r square into unit vector r in the last class already I have discussed but here in this class now we have to find the resultant force on a charge due to multiple charges here in this diagram consider 
थ्री पॉइंट चार्जेस क्यू वन क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री दीज आर द्री पॉइंट चार्जेस क्यू वन क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री द फोर्स ऑन क्यू वन ड्यू टू क्यू टू फोर्स ऑन क्यू वन ड्यू टू क्यू टू यू गेट दिस इक्वेशन Here, this is the equation of Coulomb's law in electrostatics. It is the vector form of Coulomb's law. It states that the force of attraction between the magnitude of two point charges is directly proportional to that force and inversely proportional to square of distance between them. Here, R one two. It indicates the distance between the point charges q1 and q2 here r13 it indicates the distance between the point charges q1 and q3 this is the one system according to that principle here q1 q2 and q3 q3 are the two point charges the force on q1 due to q2 is from using coulomb's law Here, vector F one two force on Q one due to Q two is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught Q one Q two divided by R square. The force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the point charges, inversely proportional to square of distance between them. Here, force acting on the charge Q one due to Q two. Here, from using this concept, write this equation. Q1 Q2 divided by R square 1 2 into unit vector R cap 1 2. This is equation number one. Similarly, here the force on Q1 due to Q3. Force on Q1 due to Q3 is vector F13 is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q3 divided by R square. One three into unit vector or cap one three. This is equation number two. Like this, we have to find the n number of charges and the n number of forces. The resultant force on that multiple charges. But according to the principle of superposition, according to the principle of superposition, the resultant force F on Q one due to the charges Q one and Q three. According to that principle, you get this equation. Vector F is equal to force acting on the charge Q1 due to Q2. Force acting on the charge Q1 due to Q3. Here, this equation is force acting on the charge Q1 due to Q2, and this equation is force acting on the charge Q1 due to Q3. Here, one two means force acting on the charge Q1 due to Q2. Here, one three means. force acting on the charge q1 due to q3 according to the principle of superposition you get this equation vector f is equal to f12 plus f13 but suppose the system contains n number of charged particles system contains n number of charges like q1 q2 q3 so on up to qn then the forces on charge q1 due to the other charges are vector f12 And vector y of one three and vector y of one four like this one of two vector y of one n. Then you get the equation here. Here I have write only these two equation. But for n number of terms you get this equation vector y of is equal to vector y of one two force acting on the charge q one due to q two force acting on the charge q one due to q three and force acting on the charge. Q1 due to Q4 like this one of two n terms. Now you have to write this equation vector F is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught. Substitute these two values here. One divided by four pi epsilon naught. Q1 Q2 divided by R square one two unit vector R cap one two plus Q1 Q3 divided by R square one three R cap one three. So one of two n terms here. Q1 it is a constant term. Q2 Q3 is one of two Q n divided by R square one n R cap one n or from using the summation equation you write this equation vector F is equal to Q1 is the constant term take outside divided by four pi epsilon naught Q1 
क्यू डिवाइड बाई फोर बाई एफ नॉट सम ऑफ एन टू आई इक्वल टू टू क्यू आई डिवाइड बाई आर स्क्वेर वन आई इन टू यूनिट वैक्टर आर वन आई यर दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द रिजल्टंट फोर्स ऑन ए चार्ज ड्यू टू द मल्टीपल चार्जेस फ्रॉम यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन वी फाइंड द रिजल्टंट फोर्स ऑफ द मल्टीपल चार्जेस थैंक यू